Today I'll tell you how to install Vagrant along with VirtualBox on your Windows 10. First of all you need to enable your virtualization from your boy setting. So when you restart your PC you can press F2 to go into the settings then you need to enable it. Ok now we will install VirtualBox on our, our Windows 10. So now i'll install vagrant on our pc and of course we need some terminal where we can run unix or linux based commands so i'm going to install git bash so these are the basic requirements so you must need to enable your by uh, virtualization from your by setting as your virtual box would not work so now I'm going to install our virtual box by Oracle and you just need to click next next as, as they recommend on screen so proceed and install once virtual machine would be installed on our PC we will install uh, Vagrant and uh, get bash so here it comes so we are installing it it will take a little while so in meantime we click on uh, get to install it so just need to click next if you want to use git bash only then you can choose that option it's entirely up to you so basically i'm gonna use uh, default settings so now we will will focus on how to build virtual machine on your system using vagrant vagrant is a is a tool it's a kind of software which automatically create virtual machines inside your virtual box you do not need to manually set up that virtual machine by doing some changes or making creating new machine vagrant will do it for you automatically so still vagrant is not installed it's installing so it will take a little more time so basically we need these three things vagrant virtual box and command line to install and our two things are installed like virtual box is installed and git bash is also installed on our machine so we are waiting to get installed vagrant because without vagrant you would not be able to you know uh, run command by which your virtual environment would be created automatically so there to install like for example you want to install ubuntu on your virtual machine using vagrant command you need vagrant boxes which are which are already available there are many types of like 14.4 ubuntu and so i'll use latest 16.4 which is just this version was created just two days ago two days 19th october 2019 and this package was installed uploaded here just two days ago so we will install this version of vagrant box on our virtual machine using vagrant command so our vagrant is also ready we'll check its version it's 2.2.6 is the latest so next thing we need to uh, add box to our 
our command line like we will use a command which is but before that we need to create a repository where we want to create that vagrant file so so we can start our process to you know process of automatically creation of virtual machine so i have made these directories clear command to clean the screen so first of all you just need to follow the same command just write vagrant box add ubuntu xenial 64 64 stands for 64 bit so basically when you okay this error has come because i had already installed vagrant on my system but before making this tutorial i had uninstalled it but due to some reason it was not uh, removed completely so i need to run this command but in your case you may you need to install it it will give you a, an error you just need to either uh, run vagrant plugin xplunge reinstall or or you can use vagrant plugin install command it will give you an error so just need you need to focus on your screen whatever error it will give you you need to follow that as it gave me a plugin repair so i used that so basically it is a good thing to read thoroughly what error your you know your system has given you when you try to run some particular command so basically i could skip this part but it gives you uh, you know motivation to crack the errors you know to troubleshoot them because the more you make mistakes you will learn from your mistakes so so we are we are done with plugin repair so basically you will not face this error you will have to install vagrant plugin install so now we will add vagrant box add command ubuntu xenial 64 it will it will download the you know uh, that version of ubuntu it will maybe it will take more time on your pc maybe it will take less it entirely depend on the speed of internet downloading speed so once we we are you know done with the download loading of this we will use vagrant up command it will actually it will start installing setting up the machine for us automatically like you even do not need to open your virtual box but once this process is completed you can see that your machine would be there so these are the, some basic commands like mkdir space name of directory you can create directory if you want to remove directory you can use a rm hyphen rf command actually f is for force because you are not allowed to delete empty directory so that's why we need to use f so now we will run like this command is to initiate the process to install that you know version of box which we have uh, you know downloaded it will create file inside ubuntu 16.04 under the name of vagrant file you can if you will ls this inside this directory you can find that file now it is setting up the virtual machine so it's setting up it's giving it a net setting 
like network adap adapter like, so you can use some ip on your you know on your local machine and it will be changed to your real ip when it will pass the request from your browser or your pc so our machine is is ready now we will check by going to our virtual machine and you will see that even we had not installed anything via our virtual box but still you will find it, it running machine so double click on that you will see a pop-up of here you need to log in using Vagrant is your login name and password is also Vagrant so we are inside our machine but our motive is not to use this machine via virtual box but we will you access this machine using SSH from our get bash so it makes it easier like usually you like you access your you know VPS server where you host your website from your local PC using SSH command in the same way there is a there is there is an easy command like you just need to write vagrant space ssh it will connect you with your uh, virtual environment so here it comes just hit the enter we are inside you can see on your screen it's 16.04.6 lts lifetime support so you can ls it's, uh, it's empty we'll use clear command command to clear now we will add user but it has given we need root access so by default on vagrant vagrant user is a sudo enabled user so i'm i'm able to successfully create a rustam user so hit enter enter yes it's true now i can switch user now if you can see a folder in uh you know home directory every user get a particular uh, separate you know directory for his where he can or she can store his, their files so this way our installation is is almost finished finished in next video i'll tell you like Till now we have just configured by downloading VirtualBox, Vagrant and Git Bash and by enabling by setting of for virtualization we, we have successfully created a virtual environment using Vagrant automa automation but we need to you know install web server on this I'll teach you in I'll tell you in next video thanks.